Hi there, this is David, and welcome back to Let's Play Legend of Heroes Trails of Cold Steel. Today we're going to be finishing up some quests. We have, let's see, we're in the final chapter. We have uh, Slip Their Minds, We Read the Comments, and Mail Mix Up that we're going to uh, go ahead and get done. So first things first, we have to go into Radio Trista to start our first quest and uh, talk to this guy. I've only been here once before, I think. Sorry to keep you waiting, Michael. Oh, there you are. I'm just glad that you can make it at all. Our specials tonight, but some people still haven't submitted what they want us to say during it. I mean, we can go ahead without them, but it'd feel kind of unfair if we did. I imagine it probably just slipped their minds considering how much everyone has to do right now. But you're taking the time to give everybody's events coverage, so I'm sorry that they put you through this. And I'm sweating. The festival gives us some good material every year. You won't see me complaining that the students are making it better. The Academy has been getting lots of coverage ever since what happened last month, too. Sorry, we don't have the time to shoot the breeze about that. So, got the time to get this done? You bet. You'll be broadcasting tonight, so let's get this done as quickly as possible. You're the man. I'm still waiting on replies from Class 1, Class 5, and the Occult Research Society. I don't know where the people in charge of them are, but you probably will since you're all from the same academy. Go get those comments. Leave it to me. Class 1 should still be rehearsing in their operetta, so I'm sure that's where I'll find everyone. Class 5's Mishy's Panics being set up in the gym, which leaves the Occult Research Society. I'll guess I'll head to the club room. Right, let's get going. Hey! Okay, so first things first, we are going to uh, go to the uh, auditorium, and the quickest way to get there is just go to the front gate of the uh, academy, since you can't warp directly there. You know, God forbid, that would just make things way too easy. Uh, let's see, this way. I believe that this is the academy. Yeah, I see that nice green exclamation point tells me I'm going the right way. And who do I want to talk to? You guys, right over here. Isn't it you? No, it's you! Excuse me, could I have a moment? Well, what are you doing here? This is Class 1's practice area. Did you see a sign that said Class 7 interlopers welcome? Or perhaps, please interrupt us? No, then move along. I'm only here to ask about Class 1's comment for the radio special on the Academy Festival tonight. You still haven't submitted one. Oh, right. Did no one submit a comment for our class? I certainly haven't. Likewise, we've been so focused on practicing that it slipped our minds. Listen well, then. Class 1 will be performing an operetta set in the Middle Ages known as the Coronation of Garuda. It's the dramatic tale of Garuda, a most noble lady favored by the Emperor himself as she struggles against her own destiny. The leading roles will be played by perfection by Patrick Higharms and myself, Ferris Florald. Our operetta won't just be captivating, but also educational. We've even consulted an expert to ensure our script's accuracy. I implore those of you listening not to miss out on our fabulous performance, especially in order to watch other, lesser events performed by other, lesser classes the very same day. We will not be topped. I think that should do for now. Thanks. She really is competitive. No kidding. What a bitch. Uh, let's go to the Student Union building. And we need to go to the Occult Center, which is that weird... I don't know weird witch looking girl up here on the right hand side she has like yellow eyes and she looks like she's like straight out of persona i don't know just really creepy to me hello do you need something from me that i do i'm collecting comments about each of the festival's events for a radio broadcast focusing on them i had no idea the occult research society was actually doing something for the festival though i certainly am oh are you curious can i just have a simple answer please very well i suppose i can tell you I'll be turning this room into a fortune-telling house during the festival. How accurate will the fortunes I tell be? That's for you to find out for yourself. I guess I should take that as a comment. Thanks. Oh, and as for that man from the radio station who sent you, I see a great deal of hardship in his future. Well, gee, I'd hate to get in the way of your preparation, so I'd better get going now. Yeah, I'm about as creeped out as Rain is. Oh, no, 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 I want to go to the gym. Okay, I'm over here, and we're going to the, uh, whoa. Yeah, this is different. Huh. Come on, work. I command you to work. Mishy, why have you forsaken us? Is everything okay here? Hey, watch out. This is Class 7's Joker here to get the dirt on us. What, do you think this is some sort of show? Get out of here before I make you get out of here. Simmer down, boys. Sorry about that. Truth is, the machine we're using isn't really working like it should, so we're all a little on edge. We sent someone off to get George, though, so our technical woes should be over before too long. But what's your story? Do you have a reason for coming, or are you actually spying on us? 
It's the former, I assure you. I hate to ask when you're so busy, but it's about the festival feature on the radio tonight. Class 5 still hasn't provided the station with a comment, so I was hoping that someone could say something. Oh, adios. It's Monk. How could that radio freak have forgotten that? Yeah, you're gonna have to go ask him. The hell, man! He seemed so excited when he told us that he'd take care of it. What could he even be doing right now? So, instead of one of you coming up with a comment on the fly, I need to find Monk? Any idea where he might be at the moment? I don't think any of us have seen him since yesterday, actually. Whatever he's doing right now better be pretty important if he thinks he can just ditch us at a time like this. You sure he's not just sleeping in? Anyway, none of us have got time to come up with some fancy radio comment. You've got to go straight to Monk for that. Got it. I'll look for him at the lower class dorms. Hopefully I can actually find him. To the dorms! Okay, I'm in the lower class dorm and just gotta to talk to this girl right here. Apparently she is Monk? Who knew? I can't see Monk anywhere on the first floor. Let's ask somewhere where he is. Hey, do you have a second? Uh, not today, I don't think. Do you need it for something? Yeah, I need his comment for tonight's radio show. I guess I'll head to his room and just hope that he's there. There's no need for that. Oh, hey, there he is. What's with your hair, kid? It's like, can, can you even see? Sorry for the wait, Reen. I've just finished writing up our comment for the radio show. Just now? That's right. This comment is the fruit of two days of backbreaking non-stop labor. And when I say non-stop, I mean without so much as a wink of sleep. The bags under his eyes are pretty intense, even for him. He's such a radio geek. Misty won't be on the show, but a submission's a submission. Only the very best is good enough. I can tell that you're curious, so let me read it to you. Mishi, the international sensation, finally makes his Thor's Military Academy debut. But oh no, trouble's afoot. Mishi and Michette are being attacked by evil Mishi, and the only way to save them is to smack, smash, and mash away. So come along to Class 5's Mishy Panic and save Mishy and Michette from their terrible fate. Mishy Panic, the only place where smacking something so cute can be so refreshing. And that's that. Make sure they don't leave out a single word. I'll be listening. Uh, sure. Well, that's the last comment collected. I should go give these to Michael. Oh, how'd it go? Perfectly. I've got all three comments right here. Oh, good stuff. They're good, generally short comments, so I'm pretty sure they'll get some great reactions from our guests. It's gonna be a fantastic show. Before you run off, take some of these. I'm real glad that you helped me out here. Hey, hey, awesome. Thanks. Good luck with tonight's show. Right back at you. Let's do what we gotta do and make this one hell of a festival. Sounds like a plan. Hey, hey. awesome. So we finished that one up, and now we need to go to the first floor of the uh, main and uh, talk to Bridget, who is this girl right here. Excuse me, I heard that a package was mistakenly delivered to class two. Is this where I can pick it up? Oh, am I glad to see you. Do you have a minute? I'll show you right now. Sure, let's go see it. What a relief. It's right over there. Margarita, he says he's here for the package. Oh, how fortunate. I was just about to put it away, too. Come along now. Okay, then. Are these cones? That they are. We were planning on setting up some boundaries for Estella Garden, but not with anything that garish. None of us ordered them by mistake, either. We suspect that they were meant for another class. Now that you mention it, I'm pretty sure I saw some cones on the field. I'll take these over there and ask around. You mean it? Thank you! In that case, we'll leave this matter in your capable hands. So now we're going to start mail mix-up and just head on over to the field. Okay, so from here we want to head right over here to this guy. Over near the horses. Excuse me, do you have a minute? I believe that I have a package for you. Oh. Oh, yeah, these are the cones that we plan on using for the supersonic stallion. They took so long to arrive that I started wondering if I had listed the wrong address or something of the sort. My thanks to you, our preparations can continue as scheduled. Happy I could help. I'm sure the student council is running themselves ragged right now, but you've done well. Even so, we have another issue to resolve. Oh? While we were waiting on our cones, we had another parcel mistakenly delivered to us. Seriously? You can see it over there. We've had our hands full here, so we hadn't quite decided what to do with it. Makes sense. Any idea what was inside of it? Freshly printed books. A sizable number of them, I might add. These are probably stock rather than a personal book delivery. Would you mind if I took care of these? I might know who they're meant for, so I could take it to the rightful owners. If it wouldn't be a bother, that would be a great help to all of us. By all means, take the books to the rightful owners. I will. Thank you. So, uh, yeah, we only know of one place that sells books, Keen's Bookstore. So, just hand it on over. 
Hey, yeah, how's everything coming along? Okay. Believe it or not, I have a package for you. At least I think I do. Oh, so they delivered at the wrong place, did they? Here I was, thinking it was delayed by the high volume of shipments this time of year. Well, I'm glad that it's here now, though I do regret taking up your time when you're so busy. Don't worry about it. The Academy's close enough that it wasn't a problem. Well, that's kind of you. This reminds me, though. Someone else's package has been delivered to me, too. Gotta be kidding me. Come on, now. Would you mind if I had a look? Not at all. I looked in the air myself just to see if it was something that I'd ordered and later forgotten about. It's full of books, but they're certainly not a regular stock. Okay. Oh, these are different. The books are so slim. Maybe a short story? I'm pretty sure that I've seen something like this before. I think one of the students at this academy might have ordered these. Maybe it's something that someone wrote and planned to sell during the festival? If that's the case, then there's no point in leaving them here. I'll take these with me and try to figure out who they belong to. As if I wasn't already worried about taking up your time with busy work, but thank you very much for doing this. Yeah, we know of a uh, place that has that, so let's hand on over to the student union. And uh, we need to go to the literacy club, because apparently they ordered books or something. So, yeah, just hand these on over to them. It's right here, and talk to you. We finished up our book and sent it out for copying and binding, but they're taking their time and sending it back. I really want to go over everything and make sure that it came out okay. Excuse me, are these the books that you're looking for? That's them! That's definitely them! Thank goodness! I was really starting to worry that they wouldn't get here in time. Nah, we'll be able to hold our little reading circle, just as planned. I really would like some boys to attend and share their impassioned views on the works that we'll be reading. Ah, be still my heart. Well, at least she's enthusiastic. Well then, that's all that I'm here for, so... Oh, hold on a moment. I've just remembered something. Don't tell me. Yeah, seriously. Uh, how'd you know? Oh, come on. It's this. I assumed this box would have my books in it, so I was quite surprised when I found something different inside. Mind if I take a look? It's full of ornaments? They all look really expensive, too. There's an elegant-looking lampstand. Is that the statue of a Pegasus? I'm hoping a reading circle to be a little bit like a tea party, but I'm not using anything this expensive looking. I'm sure these must have been meant for someone else. All the packages were delivered, but except for this one, so this one might be... I'll hold on to this if you don't mind. I think I may know who ordered it. Well then, it's all yours. And please do come along to our reading circle during the festival. You might want to bring a friend or two, too. I'll think about it. Yeah, so now we're going back full circle and uh, head on back to Bridget on the uh, first floor because we found the crap that she was looking for. Oh, no, there she is. Let me get this straight. You delivered every single package to the wrong place? I'm sorry. I only just started this job, so I don't care about your excuses. Just tell me where our ornaments are going to arrive. I'm so sorry. Uh, looks like I'm here just in time. Are you waiting on these by any chance? Oh yes, here they are! And not a single one out of place. Now we can finally get started on the interior. Did you really re-deliver everything for me? I'm so sorry and thank you so much. It was kind of a pain, but I get why it happened. Don't worry about it. Even so, I still ended up causing you trouble. Oh wait, please take these! Awesome! Are you sure? It's the least that I can do. I'll be sure that this never happens again. You can count on that. Well, goodbye. Sorry again. He's a busy one, all right. Hope he's not running off to fix more mistakes. I guess it's just because there are so many deliveries to make with everyone getting ready for the festival. Definitely makes it harder to blame for messing up. That's true. Anyway, it seems like things are all sorted out. I really appreciate the help. We may be rivals, but you have my appreciation, too. I hope both of our festival plans can go as well as they can. Yeah, the better the attractions, the better the festival. And we finished Fail Mix-Up. Now it is off to the final uh, required quest that we have to do. The other two were optional. This one is forced. Hey, Swordzer. You wouldn't happen to be here in response to my quest, would you? That's right. Today I'm here on behalf of the student council. The request said that you needed someone to give your students permission slips, correct? Yeah, these slips prove that a student is upholding the necessary health and hygiene standards to sell food on campus. Any and all students planning to sell food, whether at a stall or at an attraction, must have one to do so. 
To some gourmands, these slips are the most important part of the festival, and yet a few of her students still haven't collected theirs. I'm starting to get a little worried. Oh, so that's why you need someone to deliver them. The nail on the head. I do it myself, but people tend to be accent prone this time of year, so I need to be in here in the infirmary. Sorry to push this on you when I'm sure you're already swamped, but such are the dangers of helping the student council. Perfectly fine by me, I'm happy to help. What a guy! In that case, let me tell you where to deliver everything. First on the list is Nicholas from the cooking club. They'll be holding cooking classes during the festival. I assume he's so focused on all the preparation that he's forgotten to come get one thing that will let him cook. <laughs> Probably a good guess. Next up, we have Class 4's Eastern Tea House. As the name implies, they'll be dealing in tea, sweets, and relaxation. I do believe it was Colette's job to pick up their slip, now it's yours to get it to her. She's a sweet girl, if a bit on the clumsy side. It probably just slipped her mind. Sounds like something that she'd do, at least she probably won't lose it if we bring it straight to her. Lastly, we have the two food stalls belonging to Becky and Hugo. You'd think they'd be the first to get their slips. I've heard the two of them are trying to outsell one another. If they don't have their slips, they'll tie at zero units each. They're probably too busy arguing to even think about stopping by. Maybe getting their slips will calm them down. So to recap, Nicholas from the cooking club, Colette from class 4, and then Becky and Hugo. You got it. Here they are. Okay. Very good. Oh, okay, well, that makes it easy. Okay. Understood. I'll be extremely careful. I never expected so much to be riding on this job. I need to make sure everything's perfect. Ah, uh, calm down. It's a simple request, even if it is important. Let me know how it went when you're done. Will do. Okay, so let's go ahead and get this uh, started, get this show on the road. So first things first, the, uh, god, these people are all in my way, my god. Uh, there's one kid right over here. Yeah, this girl that we get the, uh, that we gave the accessories to earlier. Hey, Colette, got something for you. Oh, always got time for a gift. Well, here you go. Fill this out, bitch. Let's move. Oh, yeah, I completely forgot. That was a close one. Can't exactly have a tea house without tea. Whoops, sorry you had to come all the way over to deliver it, Rain. No worries, but do me a favor and try not to get me tasked with any last-second deliveries on the day of. We'll see about that. Thanks a lot. Okay, so off to the second floor. And uh, over here we have to go into her. This is the uh, cooking club, or the home ec room. Hey, Milliam, what's up? I don't see Nicholas anywhere. Hey, Milliam, quick question. Do you know where Nick is? Uh, he said he was heading out to get some ingredients and stuff, so I guess he's probably at the general store in town. Right, thanks. I'll probably regret this, but what are you making? My own super special cookies. Nicholas asked me of a whole bunch of different types. These ones got hot chili peppers in them. Wanna try one? No, thanks. I couldn't deny somebody else the privilege. For what it's worth, it seems like she fits right in with the cooking club. Now to head into town to find Nicholas. And uh, he's in the general store at Brandon's. Uh, there he is. Right there on the front. Why does he have oh okay i was gonna ask why does he have a bow on the back of his uniform whenever all the other men have a belt on the back of the uniform and girls all have bows on the back of their uniform but apparently it's his apron so anyway excuse me nicholas i'm here to deliver your permission slip for the academy festival oh sorry to make you come all the way out here just for that certain issues with the people i ordered the ingredients from have been keeping me busy I've been trying to get in contact with other sellers and plan out menu changes all at once. It's been messy. I was dead set on picking up permission slip today, though. Instructor Beatrix was thinking just that. Anyway, here you go. Hey, hey! Oh, thanks a lot. I'm surprised that she realized how busy it'd be, though. It's kind of nice to have such an attentive instructor. I suppose she picked that up situational awareness from her time in the military, though. Oh, I wasn't aware of this. Yeah, she used to be a medical officer. Apparently, she was even famous enough to get some widely recognized nickname. Huh, now I'm curious to hear more. That's all I know, really. Thanks for delivering the permission slip, though. I'll head back to the club and stick it somewhere I won't stand out. Please do. So now we just got Becky and Hugo, and they are at the uh, front entrance. And right over here. These are those two, like, Scottish people, I think. I want to say the accent Scottish. Here, Hugo, this is my spot, so bolt. Terribly sorry, Becky, but it's my spot now. I applied for it first. And by extension, that means that I get priority. I. But I brought all my stuff here first. Ugh. The application papers were vague as to what they meant by in front of the main building. But this is the exact spot that I had in mind when I applied. I'm terribly sorry, Becky, but you'll have to concede. No chance in me. I had my eyes on this spot way before you. The permission slips really are the last thing on either of their minds. Sorry to interrupt, but I have something for each of you. Here, mate. We're a bit busy here. 
the future of our sales ride on who gets the star right here, so would you mind making this quick? Don't worry, I will. I completely forgot about that. You and me both. Perhaps we let our kerfluffle carry us away. Say, Becky, I have an idea. There's a little point in competition that's won based on stall position alone. What do you say neither of us takes a spot, and we set up our stalls on either side of the front gate? So we'll be right across the face from each other? Sounds good. Let's go way that way. Sorry to say, though, wee man, but I'll be winning this one either way. Ah, uh, oh, Becky, the fact that you're naive enough to think that possible is one of the reasons why you're so charming. Eh, yeah, well, believe it. You'll have a brass neck, too, when I show you it's true. I should probably get out of here before they get started again. Those are the last two slips. Okay, awesome. So, head on inside, and, uh, yeah, let Beatrix know. I delivered all the permission slips. Good work. How was everyone? Pretty much exactly the way that you described. They made things a lot smoother, actually. I'm glad to see that there's still some use for this old woman's wisdom. Now that you're here, why not have some tea? Have a seat. I'll prepare something special to thank you for your help. Well, it'd probably be rude to turn him down now. I'd love some. Thanks. This is delicious. It's my special... It's my special blend. It takes the fatigue right out of you. You've actually learned about a lot of the herbs in there in my class. Is that so? This tea and Sharon's are so different that I can't even compare the two. I almost forgot how fun it is to have some tea with someone so young. So tell me, how are things going in Class 7? You're all so busy these days. That we are, but our concert is really coming together now. We're doing the final fittings for our costumes today, and tomorrow will be the full day of rehearsal. We're definitely cutting it close, but we're all feeling motivated. There's no way this won't be a success. Oh my, such confidence. Just make sure you don't work so hard you'll end up having to pay me a visit. Uh, we'll try not to. She really does care about all the students on campus. She even knew a lot about the ones who forgot their slips. Class 7 has accomplished a great deal over the course of a year. It's always a pleasure to learn what you're up to. That said, it seems like you've also had a knack for finding yourselves in trouble. I'm certainly not opposed to Instructor Sarah's methods, but she could stand to be a little bit more protective. You might be onto something, but that attitude has helped us out before. Which reminds me, you've known her for a while now, haven't you? I've heard that you used to be a medical officer in the Army. Is that where your paths crossed? Something like that, yes. Well, I suppose you're all so young that you should get in trouble now and then. But keep in mind that pushing yourselves beyond your breaking point to accomplish something you can't will only end badly. Just like it did for her all those years ago. Understood. Gracious me, I didn't mean to lecture you like this. Teachers have it, I guess. And it appears that her tea's gotten cold. Perhaps it's a sign that we have to bring this lovely conversation to an end. I suppose so. But it was nice to hear what you had to say, and I'll take it to heart. Glad to hear it. This is your first Academy Festival, so I hope that you'll enjoy the whole thing, preparation included. I will! Thank you again! Hey! Ooh! Nice! So let's go ahead and check out that gem real quick. Uh, it's one of these. There it is. Eh, I'm not real big on defense. But, uh, anyway, moving right along, next time we will continue into our day of, um... What are we doing tomorrow? <laughs> of a rehearsal! This has been David. If you like this, please like, comment, and subscribe, and have a good day.